What's up guys, Chris here. What you're looking at is my newest toy. Dan from over at Slot Dragon was kind enough to send me a complete timing system for a scale quarter mile drag strip. The system is set up for HO scale, but you can get enough wire to run 132nd scale, 124th, whatever you're into. We're gonna actually run 164th. And he sent me some extra components so I can set this up for the Hot Wheels track. Comes with a complete Christmas tree. This is your timing box. It's got a digital readout behind that tape there. Keeps your elapsed time, reaction time, all kinds of cool stuff. Does it per lane. The coolest thing about the system, you have the Christmas tree. So that is hooked up to these two little eyes built into the track. And once you stage your cars right over that little light there, and block the beam it'll register on the Christmas tree as you're being staged and then it'll drop the yellow lights to green that one was already rigged up to the HO scale track but he sent me some extra pieces we're gonna incorporate these into the Hot Wheels track I'll find a way to put the little eye right there in the hole and we'll have it set up just like it is for the slot car track only for Hot Wheels should be pretty cool all right, this track is going to be awesome when I break out my slot cars again. But right now we're racing Hot Wheels. So I have one of my six lane raceways out. And I'm going to try to install these little eye sensors right in the starting line. So let's see how it goes. All right, so moving right along, we got it mounted in there with good old duct tape. I want to be able to take this thing out and use it for 132nd scale slot cars, maybe 124th. Couldn't resist. Had to plug in the control center. The 01 and 01 you see there, that means we're going to make one pass, I guess, one lap. So that's what we use for the quarter mile. So if I take my hands, cover up those eye sensors, you can see the staging lights are on there. I think this thing blinked. But if I take my hand off, that means the car started. Let's see. And if I close it up again, we ran a 3.78 in the left lane and a 3.86 in the right. It's like I closed my hand quicker on one side than the other. Now, so that I don't confuse anybody with what I just did, including myself, there's a Y connector. They're going to actually be using two sensors. These two are for the starting line, and we got two more for the finish line. And then everything plugs right into this one Y connector. So the two plugs, start and finish, will exit out and into the bottom of this thing, which I'll show you a little closer later. thick we'll have to redraw from the other side too those holes look a little nasty right now but we'll get them nice and smooth down and make sure it's nice and smooth can furnish it pretty well with a piece of wood that way you're not sanding the gloss off the plastic not exactly an episode of Bob Vila but hey Getting it done. Oh yeah, that works real nice. Yeah. Oh, Phillips head bit. This burnishes that plastic perfectly. All right, let's see if the light fits in there. 
All right, I haven't taped them in yet, but they're in place. Just for a little test. I want to adjust the light sensitivity on this thing. There we go. And oh, let's see. There we go. All right, and now take my hand off. Put my hand back on. And we ran a little faster. We ran a 3.37 with an 8, 3.10 with a 6. All right, give me a second to figure out how to set this thing up. And we're going to race some cars. All right, we have our eye sensors in a starting line. Just got it taped in down here. And just temporarily, we ran the wire all the way down. Here's our Christmas tree. Ran the wire all the way down. I've just got two lanes set up and this is all temporary. So this hodgepodge of wires, this will all be hidden. All right, just a quick look at the wiring. We got the wire that comes from the starting line, the wire from the finish line. All that runs straight up into the bottom of the box. And then this wire is for the Christmas tree. This is the power wire. So, pretty simple. This stuff's all under here. Just to pad the cars. Just using the end of the track that already had the holes in it. So you can see the sensors for the finish line right here. Let's try a run here. So we go to this thing, we have mode. Dan, maybe you can tell me what that blink was. Now it looks like we're set up for two lanes and are ready to go. Let's use the Challenger Hellcat. We're going to stage it in its lane. Shows that it's staged there in the right lane. And we're going to take the C7 and we're going to stage it. Oh no! I'm too slow on the light. As soon as you stage, you got to go. Let's just do a run. Even with the hesitation, we're at a 2.794 and a 312. Starts counting from when you trigger or when you leave the eye sensor at the starting line. So even though I did not leave when the Christmas tree said to leave, it still calculated the correct time. Let's run again and see if we're close. So we're gonna hit mode here once. That's if we just wanna run the left lane. That's if we just wanna run the right lane. And that's if we were running both lanes. Let's go. Switch lanes this time. Corvette. You can see it's staged. And the Hellcat. And now it's staged and now it's green. So it drops the light pretty quick. You gotta be ready to go. Pretty accurate to what we had before. Nice. All right, let's try one more, and this time we'll try to go on the tree. What do we got here? Let's see. We, we'll pick a Porsche out. How about the 918? We'll go over here to some Lamborghinis. We'll pick out a, how about one of these Huracans. All right, we're going to center lane. Left, right, both. All right, we're gonna set the Porsche in that lane. Looks like we're stage good, and I'm gonna I'm gonna have to be quick on the draw here. How about I stage the car and then point directly at the Christmas tree since I'm using one hand to film. Let's see. Let's get that in. There we go. Pretty good reaction time. Boom. Wow, those cars are fast. 2.958, 2.864, 918 is a little quicker. All right, guys, this thing is awesome. And as you can see, I'm going to have just an incredible time getting times for all my cars. But this is something that I have wanted for quite some time here, so I can get a little more official. This won't be involved really in the King of the Hill, but this will be involved in 
just various drag racing events that I want to have. All right, here's where you're going to go. www.slotcardragon.com. Click on that. It's a very, very nice website. Self-explanatory for whatever your needs are, whether you like slot car racing, you do oval racing. I just mainly love it for the drag racing. I've already gone through this and looked at all the troubleshooting and everything else. So, let's see. Oh wait, that's not the one. If we want to look at this, the slot drag racing system. There you go. Not too bad. Just tell Dan Ghost Jerker sent you and you'll get an extra 10% off. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Take care. I want to thank Dan again over at Slot Dragon. This thing is simply fantastic. Way above my expectations. I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. Thanks again, Dan.